Hello everybody, this is Dreaming Gamer back for the conclusion of the last 16 round for the Gracious Grass Tournament. Ooh, yes, we got four lovely matches for you all to, all to tuck into. So I hope you're excited. If you are, hit that like and subscribe button and ding the bell just to make sure you don't miss out on tournament videos. And as for our matches, we will see the Paris, Paris Tector taking on Sorolophus, Alpha Aranosaurus going up against Ulti Rhinus. Super Sinteosaurus taking on Super Para and Fukuisaurus going up against Camptosaurus. And without further ado, let's get on with the first match. I actually messed up on this one because this was supposed to be just the Parasaurolophus Dino Tector and not Paris Dino Tector, but it doesn't matter because they're basically the same number. Ba -da -ba -da! But in the red corner, we do have Paris Tector. Paris Tector, one of the red hot favourites in this tournament. Can it go all the way? Just like Spinotector did. Actually, no, Spinosaurus won. Spinotector did. <laughs> anyway, in the blue corner, we have the impressive Sorolophus. Impressed with that technique boost green impulse combo. A move, a move pairing that was also used by Macrosaurus. Of course, in Macrosaurus' case, it used heat eruption instead of green impulse. But you get the gist. Ding, ding. Will we see Dino Tector in this match? Probably not. And the Paris gets off the first hit. It's a tail smash. Ding, bing, bow. Um, yes, on the topic of dinosaur kingdoms. Next week, look for a mod showcase because I, I am working. I am working on it. I mean, it won't be an exciting one because it'll be all sauropods and them, you know, they can't fight. But I'm sure I can make up something interesting. Ooh, a Sorolophus getting off a hit. And it also has Tail Smash. But its tail is bigger than the Paris Tectors, so it does do more damage. Just kidding. <laughs> no, no, that, that, that's not true. Oh, oh, speaking of Tail Smash, we're going to see more Tail Smash. This time from the Paris Tactic. So yeah, look for a mod showcase next week. And I am also going to hold a poll down below in the description because obviously I know, I've, I'm sure I've mentioned it before that I'm going to do another tournament as soon as I reach 1,000 subscribers. But I'm a bit, com I'm a bit, you know bit of a dilemma on which type of tournament I should do. So I will leave it to you guys. But vote only if you're going to participate. If you're not going to participate then there's literally no no real point if you vote in is there. Oh the Paris Tector went down just as the bar filled up. The Sorolophus wins round one. Okay let's get on with round two. Uh, okay yeah back to what I was saying. Yes, so when my next tournament begins, I'm allowing you guys to choose what I, what format it will be. So it, it will either be 2 versus 2, 2 versus 2 tag team format, or 3 versus 3. Those are the options you have. Um, again, vote, vote, in, vote in, the, in the comment section down below. Use the link I, I'll put there down. And... Good luck, and I hope we'll get lots of votes. And if you want to know how my tournaments work, I would recommend checking out some of my other tournaments that I have done. Again, I'll link, I'll link some lovely playlists down below so you can watch and see. And let's hope for a cracking tournament when I start it. Okay, anyway, back to this mini tournament. And the Sorolophus is in the lead. Ooh, but the Paris Tector gets off the opening hit. I believe, yep, both of our combatants have green impulse, and we have yet to see it. Paris Tector looking strong here, looking to bite back against the Sorolophus. Oh, bless me, I don't know where that came from. Oh, that's a tie. No green impulse, so that's quite a surprise. Another tie. 
Ooh, we might actually see Dino Tector, which means I better get the codes out. Ooh, but the Sorolophus has other ideas. Getting off that hit on the Paris Tector and the Technic Boost. Will that help it get off that green impulse? Oh, hang on. If the Sorolophus survives, it's Dino Tector time. And it does survive, which means it's Dino Tector time. Dino Tector on! Okay, I better act quickly because the timer will be on free because we've had quite a Oh, no, no. Paris got a hit, didn't she? Never mind. <laughs> Ooh, this is big. Could this be what Paris needs? Well, it doesn't really matter. Ty's going to kill Sorolophus. But we want to see Ultimate Leaf. Okay, you know what? Sod it. Let's see Ultimate Leaf. A tie is going to kill Sorolophus. Like, that, a tie will kill Sorolophus, so it doesn't really matter here. Paris has already secured her win. Let's just use Ultimate Leaf. Boosh. I, I know, I know, I know. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, but again, Sorolophus would have died in the tie anyway, so it didn't matter. And all that matters is, is that Paris has evened the score. Well, Paris Tector has evened the score, which means it's all going to come down to this next round. Dino Slash! Okay, round three in the middle of, well, it kind of looks like Death Valley, but a lot warmer. I mean, colder. Okay, Sorolophus in the blue corner. A good start from the Sorolophus, though, but it has stuttered a bit. And Paris Tector definitely does have the momentum going into this match. But it's still anyone's game. Ooh, the Sorolophus getting off the opening hit. It's actually been a good matchup, you know, back and forth. You know, n neither one has really dominated. But I am surprised that we have not seen a single green impulse yet. Now, Paris Tector has good technique and Sorolophus has the tech boost. Real interesting. Paris Tector on top though, getting off that crit. Oh, and another hit coming from Paris Tector. Sorolophus in a bit of a pickle here. Needs to get off the next hit, or it'll be going home. And it will be going home. Paris Tector continuing that momentum from the second round to defeat the Sorolophus and book her place in the quarterfinals. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, good win for Paris Tech today. Could go all the way, probably will go all the way. And I, I'd be very surprised if it didn't make the final, if I'm honest. But that's enough about that matchup. We've got another matchup to get, get on with, and that sees the Alpha Aranosaurus taking on Ulti Rhinus. All right, in the red corner, we have the Alpha Aranosaurus. Ooh, and it's in the Alpha Arena, so could the Alpha Aranosaurus have a home field advantage? You never know, it might. It's got a green, it's got lovely eyes, the Alpha Rhino. Anyway, in the blue corner, we have the Ulti Rhinos. The football loving herbivore here. Was slow to get out of the blocks in its first match, but when it came on strong, boy did it come on strong. Actually, the, the Aranosaurus was slow out the blocks as well. Both of these two came from behind to win their respective matches. Which means this will probably be a draw. <laughs> well, one of those streaks are going to end here. The Ulti Rhinus getting off the first hit of the match. The Alpha Aranosaurus taking a hit. And the, and the um, Ulti Rhinus getting off another hit. On top early on, the Alpha Aranosaurus not using that home field advantage very well. Ooh, but a softening beam is incoming. Analyzing the Ulti Rhinus' anatomy and data in order to figure out its weaknesses and to soften it up a bit because it's, you know, like a steak. And the nature's blessing as well. That was a good move there from the Aranosaurus. But the Ulti Rhinus gets the hit back, and it's a triple headbutt. Boosh! 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 boosh. The Stegosaurus is coming in here to bash the kneecaps of the Aranosaurus and lower its technique. Boosh! 
Oh, that's a tie. That will suit the Uranosaurus because the softening beam softened up the Ulti Rhinus. So it takes more damage in a tie. And the Uranosaurus gets off a crit. Alpha Uranosaurus has a powerful crit, so it will do a lot of damage. And look at that, it even has the lead. Well, I can't really say it has the lead because one hit from the Ulti Rhinus is going to kill it. But yeah, what an opening match so far. Oop, that's a tie. Oh, it's lethal! The softening beam doing its work, giving the Alpha Aranosaurus a 1-0 lead. Mightily impressive from the Alpha Aranosaurus, utilising that home field advantage there. But the ult don't count the Ulti Rhinus out yet, as there's still plenty of fight to go. As we move on to round two. Alright, round two between these two. Can the Alpha Aranosaurus continue its impressive start, or can Ulti Rhinus strike back? Well, the Alpha Ranosaurus has lost his home advantage now as they fight in Death Valley. Yes, the Ulti Rhinus getting off that first hit again. And it's another triple headbutt. Smash! Knocking the kneecaps of the Ranosaurus, which would basically cripple it. But you know, this is Dinosaur King logic here. These dinosaurs have no bones! Or apparently just made of titanium and just take no damage. Oh, the Rhinus getting off another hit there. Oh, the, Rh oh, the Rhinus, like in the first match, on top early on. Oh, that's a tie. Nah, not there. Ooh, but the Aranosaurus striking back with a crit. And the poison. But no nature's blessing. That, that could be costly. But the Aranosaurus is not done yet. Getting off a banana surprise. And boy will it surprise the Ulti Rhinus. Oosh. Oh, and it's moved one, it removed one of its moves. Has it? No. Wait, has it? Oh, yes it has. Actually, that's Aranosaurus 1. Yeah, Aranosaurus is 1. Because it cannot lose and the Ulti Rhinus cannot get a hit. So that means the Ulti Rhinus is going home. And the Alpha Aranosaurus will advance to the quarterfinals to take on the Paris Tender. Ooh, Alpha Aranosaurus, could it be one to watch in this tournament? A 2 0 win over Ulti Rhinus. Alpha Aranosaurus. Looking mightily impressive. Well, we saw the Sejuangosaurus go all the way. You wouldn't bet against Alpha Arano. But, enough about that matchup. Let's move on to our third match of this video. And that sees the Super Sinteosaurus taking on the Super Parasaurolophus. Alrighty then, in the red corner we have the Super Sinteosaurus. Defeated the Edmontoni Edmontos Edmontosaurus. In a controversial first round matchup. But the Super Sintosaurus deserved it. But it's going to be a tough match because in the blue corner we have the Super Parasaurolophus, one of the favourites for the tournament here. Defeating the Carifosaurus. Well, it kind of snatched the win from the Super Carifosaurus because the Super Carifosaurus was on top for most of it, but that Net Crusher did some damage. Five. Oop, we open with a tie. Neither of these two got green impulse, so ties probably favour no one. Well, maybe the Sinteosaurus, because it's got two platoon crush. Oh, another tie. Neither of them giving an inch so far. Ooh, the Parasaurolophus getting off the first hit. It's a neck crusher, but the Super the Sinteosaurus will be allowed to use its awaken mode. As the Parasaurus gets off that nature's blessing. Elemental Puton! Oh, the Paris gets it, the Paris gets it! 
Oh, what a crucial could that be? The Parasaurolophus is getting the hit. The Sintailsaurus denied. And I think that will do it for round one. Or will it? It's a triple headbutt coming from the Sintailsaurus. Don't count it out yet. The Parasaurolophus may be on top now, but that may not last. Lowering its technique, which means it pretty much has zero technique now. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Is that crit from the Synthiosaurus? It's a dino swing. And has this match's momentum swung? And all of a sudden, the Parasaurolophus not looking too hot now, but the Awaken mode might save it. Oh, it doesn't! It's a two platoon crush! Has the Sintailsaurus snatched this? I don't think this is going to be lethal because the Parasaurolophus is in awaken mode, but it might because two platoon crush does do some damage. However, Sintailsaurus' crit is quite high. Yeah, I didn't think it would kill it. But look at this all of a sudden! Sintailsaurus dead and buried coming from behind! Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, the poor thing. Oh, despite his best efforts, the Parasaurolophus just, just hung on to defeat the Sintailsaurus in an epic first round clash. Oh, poor, poor Sintailsaurus. I felt bad for it because it, it came back so well and I've... I literally thought, yeah, Parasaurolophus is going to win this. But no, it was just too short. That didn't make sense. Anyway, let's move on to round two and hope it's as good as that match was. Well, round two between these two grass munchers and I, be, I doubt it'll be any better than that first round was. The Parasaurolophus just, just hung on there to get, that, to get the 1-0 lead that it had. Ooh, the Parasaurolophus getting off a net crusher. Didn't get one off in the first round. Got one off this time. Achoo. Okay, that's not halfway. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. <laughs> For those that are new, Awaken Mode will be triggered as soon as the dino's health goes below half. So Sintosaurus is going to be waking up next round because its HP is going to be below half after this net crusher. And once again... The Parasaurolophus is in a strong position to win this round. And, well, win the match as well. Oh, but this time the Super Sintailsaurus gets off the hit. And it's a critical one, and it could do a lot of damage. And look at that! But you know what that means? It's awakening time for Parasaurolophus. Oh, it's a tie! But a tie will do it for the Parasaurolophus. The Sintailsaurus bites the big one. Despite a valiant effort and a valiant fight back, the Super Parasaurolophus proves too strong. But boy, was that a close match. You know, that didn't feel like a 2 0 That did, really didn't feel like a 2 0 That Sintailsaurus put up a really good fight. But it is Super Parasaurolophus who will be advancing to the quarterfinals. And her march in this tournament continues. Commiseration, I should say again, commiserations for Super Sintaosaurus, but it just wasn't meant to be. Right, on to our final match of this video, and the final match that will conclude the last 16 round, which sees the Fukuisaurus taking on Camptosaurus. Alrighty then, in the red corner we have the Kyoto shiny thief dino itself, the Fukuisaurus. Fukuisaurus was quite impressive in his first round win over the Alpha Iguanodon. And it does have a favourable matchup here in my opinion, as in the blue corner we have the Camptosaurus. Although, do not underestimate the Camptosaurus as it soundly and comfortably defeated the cartoon Sintaosaurus in the first round. And, like the Sejuangosaurus in the Wicked Wind Tournament, 
Campasaurus could be one to watch. Oh, that's a tie. Neither of these combatants have green impulse, but ties seem to favour the camp though more. However, an egg attack and a Drognial Rush will definitely favour the Fuku Zords. Egg Machine Gun! Because apparently Overaptors can do that. Big damage dealt there by the Fukuisaurus. Oh, look at that! The Archaeopteryx charm here coming in clutch! Okay, that was a two, and you were a four. So Fukuisaurus, yet again, is getting off another hit. Snippy, snippy, slap, slap! Will Archaeopteryx Charm come in here? Oh, it is! Oh, but it's healing a pitiful amount. Very hit and miss move, that Archaeopteryx Charm. Back to the match, though, we have a tie. Can the Camptosaurus land a hit? Well, it's doing damage via the ties, but it needs to get off a hit here, because I think one more tie will finish it off. But it's not going to get a hit, and instead, the Fukuisaurus is going to comfortably win round one, despite the Archaeopteryx charms. Okay, let's move on to round two. Alright then, round two between these two. Can the Fukuisaurus continue its impressive form in this tournament, or can the Camptosaurus find its form from the first match? Interesting, because these two won, well, I don't know, the Camptosaurus has won a lot more convincingly than the Fukuisaurus did, but the Fukuisaurus won quite well as well. But so far, it's the Fukuisaurus on top, and in the lead. Wow, poor Camptosaurus, I just can't get a hit. Ooh, until now, and it's a critical one. Big damage dealt to the Fukuisaurus there. And an even bigger blow was that Emerald Garden didn't get triggered. However, the Fukuisaurus does respond with its first hit of this matchup. Well, of this round, anyway. Sleepy, sleepy, clap, clap. Bang down. Oh, look at that Archaeopteryx charm. Wow, we see Archaeopteryx charm again healing the camp, though. It was as if Fukuisaurus's hit didn't matter. But the Fukuisaurus is going to get the strike back again. Schlippy schlippy slap slap. Archaeopteryx Charm such a weird move. Like, sometimes it can be amazing, and then sometimes it can just be, like, bad. Like, in this case, he's doing really good. Because the Camptosaurus would have been dead by now. So Archaeopteryx Charm is definitely working out for the camp, though. However, it just cannot get a hit. The Fukuisaurus is just not letting you get a hit off at all. And yet again, the Dromeo Rush coming in to add extra damage. Will Archaeopteryx Charm come in here? Nope. Oh, it's ma I think it's maxed out, that's right. Ooh, but the Camptosaurus does get off a hit, and it is a diving press. If Camptosaurus wins this, Archaeopteryx Charm will definitely be the big re definitely be the reason why it wins. But it's not going to win. The Fukuisaurus is not going to allow it. An egg attack coming in here, which means the Fukuisaurus gets a 2-0 win and will advance to the quarterfinals to take on the Super Parasaurolophus. Uh, another good win for Fukuisaurus, but I feel like it's yet to be tested. You know, the Iguanodon didn't really test it that much, and Camptosaurus barely put up a fight. So I feel like the bigger tests are to come for Fukuisaurus, and Super Parasaurolophus will definitely test it. But anyway, let's look at the matchups for the quarterfinals and in the session. Well, this quarterfinal looks quite interesting, especially this side. This side is definitely very open because you have the Karifasaurus taking on the Para and Uluru Titan taking on Mutaburra. 
And then over here is where you've got the real heavy hitters. You've got Paris Sector against Alpha Arano. And Super Para taking on Fukui Sora. So favourable matches for these two. So I suspect the semi-final will probably be this guy against this guy. <laughs> Semi-finals here? Well, I I feel like the Parasaurolophus will just edge out the Karifo. So I feel like it'll be Parasaurolophus against probably Uluru Titan. And if that is the case, then we are guaranteed to see a Parasaurolophus in the final. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this session. If you did, please leave a like. And if you're new and unsubscribe, you're welcome to do so. And stay tuned for next time where we will do the quarterfinal round. So it will be these two matches. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.